We are looking at the senior certificates or the end of year exam paper for grade 12, the IT paper from November 2020. And we have done question 1.1 to 1.3 and we're going to do the last question of question 1, which is 1.4. So for 1.4, there's a bit of a word game that we're playing. We're going to enter in a word and there are points allocated for the vowels, uh, points allocated for letters that are not vowels, and then all non-alphabetical characters get one point. So uh, you must enter in a single word uh, when you click on the button and then must calculate and display the total point. So it gives us the algorithm again. So first step is doing the input, retrieve the word from the edit box, convert it to uppercase, because we're going to deal with uppercase letters. So let's do that. So we go to our program. We're going to click on this button. We're going to get a value from that edit box. So let's go look here. So we're going to get our word. So let's get S word of type string. We declare a variable. And we are going to say S word is equal to whatever's in the edit box for question 1.4 dot text. And they're both strings. So we don't need to convert it, but I do want it to be in uppercase. So I'm going to put it in uppercase. I don't know why I always put the uppercase function in uppercase. It just speaks to me. Okay. And then test the presence of a space. If there's a space in the word, that means they've entered two words. And then we must display a message. So I need to see if there's a space somewhere in it. So I'm going to say if the position of a space in S word, if there's no space, then the position will be a zero. But if it's not equal to zero, not equal to, or you could have said if it's greater than zero, that would have also worked. If it's greater than zero, then that means there's a space here. That's a space, so that's a problem. So if it's a problem, what do we need to do? We need to say, hey, suitable message saying, hey, you've been disqualified. So say suitable message. I don't know how you can be suitable and say you're disqualified. You are, oh, you are disqualified. I don't know how else to say that suitably. You are disqualified. Okay. Um, so you're disqualified. Is there anything else we need to do? You display a suitable message. Let us say, yeah, display a suitable message. Um, and then clear the edit box and set the focus on the edit box. Okay, so that's clear the edit box. So the edit box q4 dot clear, and we must set the focus of this. Set the focus. There we go. So that means it puts the cursor onto it. So that's if there's a space. If there's no space, else this is when there's no space. That means this is when we do the points, I would assume. End of else. Just like to make note of where these begins and ends all for. So let's go. If a space is not identified, then we calculate the value of the word based on the number of points. Okay, so we need to go through and use this as our guide. Okay, so I'm going to first look for the vowels, and we're going to add three points. So we need some sort of way of recording the points. So let's go and say, hey, let's get the points. Uh, points equals to zero. Um, and we're going to keep, whenever we find something, not, not equal to zero, sorry, I'm initializing an already integer. Uh, when we're going to keep adding on points, so I'm going to initialize it to zero, and we're going to obviously loop through this thing. So I'm going to give it our variable for the loop. So I'm going to go, okay, so we've initialized the points. You could have actually initialized it over here as well, it wouldn't have made a difference really. Um, but what are we going to do? We can say, okay, for loop, we are going through each and every character of the word. So let's say we've got a word like Mr. Mr. Long, like that. Let's say that's our word. Okay, so we're going to loop from 1 until the length of the word. Okay. So let's pretend that S word is Mr. Long. Okay, we're going to loop till that. And we're going to do the following. What are we going to do? We're going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to put it again. End. End of the for loop. I want to first check each and every individual character. So each character is S word, square bracket. So the first character will be square bracket one. The next character will be square bracket two. So it's square bracket R. R. It doesn't matter if it's capital or small. That is each individual character. So the loop will do this for all the characters. We just need to work for, for one character and assume that the for loop will work for all the characters because we're looping from one to the end of the, the, of the word. So what I want to do, I want to check if S word is a vowel. So I can do it if it's equal to an A or if it's equal to, like that's going to be a long thing. So let, we can use the N. I don't know if you remember the N. Remember the N in sets? And then you can put square brackets and you can create a set of options. So we want it to be an A or an E or an R, R or an O 
or a U, and they're all capitals because we've made it uppercase, if you remember. So if it's in one, if this character is in one of those options, then if it's true, then we found one vowel, which means we must take the points. R points is equal to R points plus how many points? Four vowels. Three points. So we can add three. Fantastic. Great. So that's what we do. Else. So now when we get to this part, we can, it's actually a good technique to actually have a begin end. You don't have to because we only do one thing, but I'm just going to put in a begin end here. Just so we can see. If we get to this place, then we know for sure that it's not a vowel. Because I won't get to this else part. So I can then check the word R is in B to Z. Now you might say, but as long as there are vowels in the yes, there are vowels in this list. But if it's a vowel, it will trigger this if statement and it will jump out of the, the if statement. And therefore it will never get to this if it is a vowel. So if we get to this part of the of the if statement this else part we know when we get here that there's no more vowels left that they've checked already for vowels so if i'm checking for b to z if, there's no chance of it being a vowel but there is a chance of it being a letter and this is all the possible letters if it's in that range then we must add i think we need to add two points r points plus two you could have also said Another option would have been if um, the position of S word R is in a string and you could have listed B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, and so blah, blah, blah. You could have made a little string like that if that is greater than zero. So if the position of that character is somewhere in a string that's only got the possible um, non-vowels, if so it'll be greater than zero, then obviously it's a vowel that's another option available so then and if it's not that and it's not this then the only other possibility and it's a non alphabetical word then we are just going to add one point in other words we can just actually increase our points or you can say our points equal to our points plus one same difference yeah so if it's a vowel add three if it's not a vowel it will then come to this part and we know for a fact when we get here that it's definitely not a vowel because of our else if we didn't have the else, then we would have had to specify exactly which characters um, we want. Uh, else, if it's uh, from B to Z, but obviously not one of the vowels, then we add two. And if it's not letters and it's not vowels, then it must be something else. And then we get one point. I think that is. So we've done that. We've calculated the word and display the total in the rich edit component. So we need total number of points. Then like that. so that's what they want us to display. So in the rich edit. So after the for loop. So this is going to be in the for loop. So the for loop is going to run, do this, do, 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 do. And then once the for loop is done, only once the for loop is done, can we add edit box dot text is equal. Whoa. Why are you on a new line? Is equal to the word. What do they want? Total number of points. Remember, always display it the way they want to display. Total number of points. Because there might be marks for displaying in the correct format. And we want to display our points. Oh, what's our points? Our points is integer. This is a text or string converted from an int to a string. And then that should work. Let's see if that works. So if I come here and they say that they give us some options, let's look at the options. Win. Enter the word win. Win is seven points. So even if I put small letters, it'll still work it out because it converts it. Win. Oh! Oh, what did Mr. Long, you does wrong. You're not supposed to display it there. Which one am I supposed to display it in? Ah, oh, rich edit. You're supposed to add it to the rich edit, Mr. Long. Oh, no. So we're going to say the rich edit dot lines dot add. That was just a printing error. I'll do that to make sure that you're awake. So just testing if you're awake. Okay. So let's see. Now it should work. Please let it work. When? There we go. That's much better. Seven points. What, are, what They give us other examples. Let's have a try. Non, oh, I'm not going to type that out. Non-subscriber. Please don't be a non-subscriber. Maybe I should use this moment as a way to say, please subscribe to our channel. 31. 
Yes, I will get 31 points if you're not. No, I want more points if you're a subscriber, please. So please subscribe. And they say team one. And that should give us an error because we are team one. Oh, you're disqualified. Okay. Um, and if I say Mr. Long. This long as 13 points. Okay. That's so great. Okay, so there we go. That's 1.4. 1. 1. 1. So that's the whole question one. The previous videos did the other 1.1 uh, to 1.3. Um, go to the playlist you see for question two. For more videos from this exam paper, as well as the other videos from other exam papers, go to our playlist on our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.